1000 days ago, I started with Arduino, went to C Sharp, gave up because it was too hard. 60 days later, I tried again, but with Python, web development, blah, blah, blah. The real question is, what do I want to do in the next 1000 days? From day one, I will want to try Arduino. False! Learning technologies like Next.js, React or Arduino was the big mistake I did last time and the reason why I gave up coding after 70 days. So this time, I have a solution to my problem. Well, I think. I will just make what I want to make and I'll use whatever tool that can do that the best. If that sounds like some random Instagram quote, let me tell you an example. Why spend three months learning how to use a screwdriver, React.js, instead just build a house, a website. When you decide what house you want to make, you'll research what is the best concrete backend framework. You get the point. Just decide what you want to do and then how to do it. Well, at least that was my biggest problem. I kept learning how to use screwdrivers, but I never really just made things. So to fix that on day one, I want to make a plant that gets watered automatically using code. To be honest, I don't know how it will actually work, but I'll research and learn everything to make it. So from day one to day 150, I will make a self watering plant. Plant. This is a very big switch from web development, which I did for the last two years, but I want to try electronics again and not give up. We are at day 150. I hopefully made this self watering plant and I'm still alive because electricity and water is uh, kind of scary. A lot can change in five months. So there are two things that can happen. Thing one, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> Turn on this sad music. The journey of making electronics from scratch is very, very hard. And there is no chat GPT that can do the manual labor work for you. And it's just very hard. The second thing that can happen is that I make it. I make the self watching plant and it works and it's just awesome. And after that, I continue doing harder and harder electronics and robotics projects. I wrote down a lot of projects I want to do and things I want to try and then trying to plan them day by day is very interesting. I do recommend you guys also make a timeline using the same one I did in this video. It is free on my GitHub. I made it using Figma, which is also free. So go make it. You can also check out this video about my thousand day coding journey. It's also using the same timeline. It's pretty good. Go check it out.